Hello, hello. All right, here we go. Gonna cook up some steaks tonight. Just got done watching the race. Got you hooked up on the old zero gravity case. Not my normal case. It's not really that great of a case. It's definitely not protective. My normal case is right there. I mean, nothing really to it. I like it though. It's got nice buttons, a little clicky. Oh shit, it was clicky. I guess it got me on there to be clicky. Anyway, cook up some steaks tonight, some T-bones. A T-bone? A T-bone. Love that T-bone. All right, so what we're gonna be doing, if you come with me this way, I guess I got everything set up. I'll probably pause the tape. It's a little easier than, um, than holding it in one hand anyway. Pause the tape, I'll start prepping my stuff, and then I'll, I'll try and show you as I'm as I'm going along with what I have. And hopefully this works out. If not, we won't do it that way again. But I don't have a tripod anymore. I gave it to Robert. So we're pretty much pretty much stuck with what we're doing. So for now, we're going to pause you, and we'll go from there. All right, so what I like to do when I'm making a steak, uh, like a steak like a T-bone or a porterhouse, something like that, is I will fry it up in a pan, and depending on the thickness and how much I like it done, whether I like it uh, you know, well or medium well, I might throw it in the, uh, the oven afterwards. But what I'll do when I put it in a pan is I don't use the non-stick, I don't spray that. I take extra virgin olive oil, and if you see, this is not a crap extra virgin olive oil. Remember I was showing you the yellow type on different videos, and I said this is a type of salad, not a type of salad. Well, you can use that on a salad, no problem. And what I'll do is I'll coat my pan pretty good with it. Move you this way. Let's see. Will you stay? Hey, stay. <laughs> my, do my door isn't supposed to stay halfway open. So what I'll do is I'll basically get the pan nice and hot. Still to come, a powerful and angry spirit refuses to leave its home. Her anger is at another When the pan heats up. We'll take the steak, we'll throw it right on there, we we'll season it while it's on there. But I'm also going to do a little seasoning now. And to do that, we need a few things. One of those things is fresh garlic. We also need an onion. Alright, so basically what we got to do here is we're going to take... Oh, when I started using this stuff, I fell in love with it. Fell in love with it. It's, it's just a great seasoning. It's complete seasoning. And it has just the right amount of salt, just the right amount of pepper, just the right amount of, of, of herbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to coat my T-bones. And uh, I'll show you one after I do it. You're not going to be able to really see it. I'll take it and I'll coat my T-bones with it. And then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. And while I'm getting everything else prepared, these guys will... Um, Almost like a rub, basically you can use it for. I mean, you can use it for anything. It's just I, I do. I'll use it on French fries. It's so good. Basically, what we end up looking like, kind of like that. You know, you don't have to. You can do salt and pepper, whatever, however you like to do it. Just I happen to find this seasoning, and, and after I found it and I tasted it, I said, "Geez, this is like good for everything." It really is. I mean, it's amazing. It's an amazing, amazing, amazing seasoning. Clean these steaks up a little bit, cut that fat off a little bit. I like a little bit of fat on my steak because it gives it adds to the flavor while it's cooking. But at the same time, it's got to come off before I throw it on the old. Uh, this one anyway, got to come off before I throw it on the stove. So we're gonna start getting things prepped, and I'll be back. I wish I could kind of pan down and show you how I'm doing this. So I got a white onion. Sometimes I use the red onion, sometimes I use a regular plain onion. This time I'm using a white onion. I love onions. I think onions are fantastic. Uh, they're really healthy. Actually, from a study I read, it says don't throw out your onion skins. There's supposed to be more antioxidants in that than any, in any <laughs> putting in the onion itself. But I just can't seem to find a way to manage that into my diet. If I could, I would. Just not gonna happen. I'm moving a little slower than normal. I sliced my finger. It's not bleeding, it's not open, but it's still sore, and I, I really can't. That's my, my go to finger, and I really can't use it right now. 
so I apologize. This is taking a little longer than I'd like it to. Uh, this is for most of you uh, Walking Dead fans. This is this is season premiere night. I'm sure, everybody out there is pretty psyched up about that. I know I am. Robert keeps asking me, "Is Glenn gonna die?" I'm like, well, from what I hear, as far as the comic book is concerned, yes. <clears throat> I hope not, but it seems like he probably is. Okay, so with that said, take this guy here, cut that like there. That end off. What do we have here? Cup of haters. WWE for all you that don't know. Recording. Well, I have 10 minutes. I can only record 10 minutes. So you know what? I better save some of this. Because <coughs> um, it's going to be a lot longer than 10 minutes there, peeps. All right, we're about to get wild here. So I'm taking my, my white onions. I'm going to heat up some, some extra virgin olive oil. Once we get it nice and hot, I'm going to throw the white onions that I diced up, throw them in there until they're nice and caramelized over. Ooh, the flavor is going to be so good. In the meantime, I'm going to keep on going, get my steaks ready. Uh, I got some fresh garlic. I'm going to mince that up, put that, put that in with my steaks. Uh, I'm going to trim them up, get a little bit of the fat off. And then what we're going to have with it, we're going to have uh, corn and mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes are going to be powdered mashed potatoes, you know, I didn't buy potatoes, I don't really have time to sit here and mash potatoes. And since I don't have a, uh, a mixer, uh, you know what, I could do it in a bullet, but I don't know how good that thing will work. It's kind of disappointing, I think. It's not like a show it on TV. So from now, I'm going to keep on going where I'm going with here, and I'm going to keep bringing these up to speed once I'm done. Build at Hollow's uh, Corner, and I guess Hollow's Kitchen, whatever we're going to call it, 101. Be back in a minute. Alright, so you know, when I was a kid... I wasn't really into vegetables. <laughs> I don't think any kid really is. And garlic was definitely not one of my uh, my favorites. But as I've grown into an adult, I've, I've really acquired a taste for onions and you know garlic a lot more than I ever did. I used to buy the minced garlic, and you can buy that. There's nothing wrong with it. It comes in a little jar. It's already pre-minced. And uh, it's ready to go. You can scoop it out with a. That's pretty neat. You can scoop it out with a spoon and use it as you will. Or you can buy the fresh garlic, the way I do. It's in a whole clove. You know, you get it in a big lump, and you, and you go to town with it. The only problem with it. Sorry, I have to keep watching my onions over there. <coughs> Excuse me. The only problem with it is if you're in a hurry. If <laughs> you forget to do it, you kind of want a time crunch, like I am right now. So, voila. Now, I don't know if any of you know, and I can't really show you because of the way the camera's mounted, but if you don't know how to get the garlic out of the uh, its skin, because it is kind of tough, here we have garlic in there. You take your knife, you can do it with a spoon, whatever, lay it on top, bam, take your frustrations out. Ladies, you marry your husband, slam. You know, I hear you. I have an ex-wife, I have two of them actually, and uh, let me tell you, slamming the crap out of some garlic could save a marriage. I wish I would have done it before I got divorced, but hey, you know, what are you going to do? You live and learn. So, I'm going to keep on mincing up my garlic. I'm going to check on my onions over there. They, see, they smell like they're doing a pretty good job. You uh, grab yourself a cup of coffee and hold tight. All right, so it looks like I'm running out of time. I went a little long on, on that little segment. So while I have you, before I lose you, I'm going to throw a little bit of my wonderful seasoning in here, my favorite seasoning in the whole wide world. You know, my onions. Give them a quick stir. Instead of using salt, I like that better. Whoop, I see the countdown clock. Six, five, four, three. Look for the next video. As I stopped in the other video, the water is boiling. 
for the mashed potatoes. Now we're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, add our ingredients. <clears throat> wow, I can't believe that was 10 minutes already on the other one. That's incredible. All right, so you got the water, the margarine, the salt, and the boiling the water in the saucepan. But from the, we're gonna remove it from the heat. We're gonna add the old flakes and we're gonna go from there. suggestion that you do not use any metal utensil in there when you are mixing because it will not be a nonstick pan for very long if you do. That's why I use my good old wooden spoon, the thing I used to make me scared crap when I was a kid. My mother would always say, well I'll get that wooden spoon. She then aimed for that, she aimed for the drawer in the kitchen and before she ever got anywhere near the kitchen, I was gone. I was huddling next to my grandmother. Alright, here we go with that. Very good, very good. Anita. For a little later kick. A little gray cheese, a little tart. Not too much. You want to do it while it's hot so it melts, otherwise it's not going to melt, it's going to sit there like flakes and be nasty. Right now it's steaming hot. Melt that in there. Now I think I can use a touch more milk. I know it only is for that little bit, but I think that when I it will be enough. Boy, well, I got butter fingers today, let me tell you what. Finally got to 400. All right, then the last thing I'm gonna do for these potatoes of mine is add my <laughs> my famous one-stop shop, and then we're gonna have a little bit of corn, and that's pretty much it. I mean, you can have any kind of any kind of uh, vegetable you want, but uh, the steak should be pretty much done in a couple minutes. I know the stove just got up the temperature, but it's been in there for about maybe five minutes. And they were almost cooked all the way through. I'm going to finish them off with the onions. Let me see if I can't get those guys up for you. There we go. We'll put the onions on top. These onions are, these onions are good. These onions are good. cleaning up because it's driving me up a wall knowing it's there. And it catches all on the flip side. Okay, where we left off? We left off with my onions. And how I'm doing them is a lot of times I'll do them in the pan or a small pan. This time I put them in a pot. A little small little pot. This way they can really soak up the olive oil because I want to get that nice olive oil flavor. I got my, my garlic in there. I got my seasoning in there. And it's just kind of kind of caramelizing over. It's taking its time, it's doing its thing. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a dance is really what it is. That's what I've discovered. It's not like it's, it's not like you're rushing it. What the hell are you rushing? You know, if you're going to rush it, it's probably going to come out like shit. Excuse my French. With everything. You take your time, taste it as you go. Maybe you want to add this, maybe you don't want to add that, maybe you don't like the way I do it, maybe you don't like me. Hey, what do I know? Not many people do. <clears throat> In fact, most people love me and then they hate me. So, you might be one of those people. Nah, just, just kidding around. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep on going out with my garlic, my, my, my garlic. See, you got me saying garlic. I'm gonna keep on going out with my onions over here, get my, my onions nice and caramelized. I'm gonna start cleaning up my steaks. And uh, you stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna come over here. I'm take my steaks out. I've already pre-seasoned them from the first video. I don't know if you remember or not, but there we go. My T-bones. Here's the other guy right there. There we go. Looking pretty uh, pretty scrumptious. And I want to clean up a little bit of the fat. You know, this guy's got a little bit of fat right there. And the other one, kind of same deal. Got a little bit of the fat right there. I just want to clean it up. And do that with my main guy right here. All right, so basically all you gotta do is just take it off to your own taste. Maybe you like the fat. You know, I got a, an ex-mother-in-law who is, I'm not kidding around, I'm not saying it's because she's my ex-mother-in-law. I'd say that she was still my mother-in-law. She loves fat. She would actually ask for everybody to give her the grizzle and the fat that they would cut off their steak when you go out to a restaurant and she put it in her mouth, she'd chew it. You know, I mean, to me it was, Thinking about it is the nastiest thing in the world. It actually makes me want to gag thinking about it. But maybe, maybe you like it. Maybe you grew up on it. I don't really know. You know, it wasn't like she grew up poor and she had to eat fat. She just happens to like chomping down on, on some fat and grizzle. Each his own, I suppose. All right, so from start to finish, there we go. Now, basically, I left a little, maybe a little piece right there. I could cut it off. Cut it off if you want. Got a little more down there. Very, very little. All it's going to do is it's going to kind of liquefy once we get it into the hot pan, which is pretty much hot right now. And same deal over there. You know what I mean? Cleaned it up top. Left a little bit on the bottom. Just enough to give it some kick while it gets in that hot pan. So, grab yourself a cup of coffee, sit back, and then we'll get my steaks ready to go. All right, it's go time. Get these guys over here. We're gonna do one at a time. Oh, -ho, almost lost the whole freaking kadoodle over a goddamn cap. I would have been flipping out. Unbelievable. Just gonna kind of place it in the pan, number one right there. Get that in my way since it's there for no reason. Let me move that up on The onions, the onions are looking fabulous. As my son Robert likes to use the word fabulous on his channel. All CH reviews, if you haven't seen it, you should check them out. Give them a thumbs up and subscribe. He's got some good stuff on there. Wonderful. I did take a little bit of kosher salt and throw it in because I tasted them. And like I said, this is for your own taste. If you don't want to add it, you don't add it. If you do want to add it, add it. I showed you on the last video, but I showed you this before too. This is the stuff I use. This stuff I think is, is it's your all-in-one. It's everything in one that you could possibly, you could use it on chicken, you could use it on pork, you could use it on, you could use it on mashed potatoes, crying out loud. I used it on, on uh, french fries uh, a couple weeks ago. It's that good, as far as olive oil is concerned. This is the company I like to buy. You see that color? That's olive oil. If it's clear like water, to me it's not olive oil. To me it's like more like vinegar. I got it, it's still olive oil. But that is a quality olive oil. And you're not going to break the bank buying it either. And in the description down below, I'll leave the names for you. Let me get out my tongue for you. See how it's moving along. Maybe a little bit more. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna keep moving along here. You just sit back, have that cup of coffee, and I'll be right back. Alright, so everything seems to be going along pretty good. I just flipped my steak over again to the other side. 